Hi and welcome to my video series of Biotechnics Explained in 5 Minutes where I explain a concept in biology in less than 5 minutes. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. In this installment, we'll be talking about DNA's footprinting assay. Now DNA's footprinting assay is used to determine DNA-protein interaction. It could be also used to understand whether a particular protein is a transcription factor or a DNA binding has a DNA binding element or not. So the principle is fairly simple. It is based on the principle that if a protein is binding to a DNA, then it would protect that segment of DNA where it binds from any kind of DNA's digestion, right? So let's just try to take an example and try to understand that. But before that, you have to understand why it is called footprinting. So if you are walking in a sandy beach and you would leave your footprint on the beach so your footprint would be kind of a proof that you have walked on that sandy beach right as if when protein binds into the dna let's say a transcription factor or a polymerase it kind of leaves its footprint on the dna that's weird right don't worry we will take an example and try to understand let's say here is a transcription factor which can aid in transcription. Now, in order to be a transcription factor, the first and foremost criteria is it has to bind with the DNA. Now, imagine it has bind with DNA. And there is another situation, there is no protein bound to our DNA. So there are two kind of comparable situation. So here, there is no protein bound to the DNA. And if we treat it with DNA's digestion, in several kind of iteration, the DNAs would cleave the DNA fragment and we can get a variety of fragment of variable length. Now, if we run that in a gel, we would have several band of different different sizes, as you can see in this small lane of these gel. Now, let's say a second situation: a protein which we are suspecting to be a transcription factor is bound to the DNA, and we are also digesting that DNA bound uh, the the protein bound DNA with a DNA's enzyme. Now, it would cut in several different location but it cannot cut in the location where the protein is bound now if we run that same fragments in the gel we would see fragments in all particular locations except in a location you would see no bands the location where we see no bands that is the footprint of the protein on the dna it also tells us that the sequence if we compare it with the uh, no protein control, we can understand which sequence our protein of interest has bound with the DNA. That would in turn tell us that in this particular sequence, our protein of interest has bound and left its footprint. And this, this is the goal of DNS footprinting assay. A simple assay, cost effective, but even very elegant. Even this assay is used these days to understand DNA protein interaction. So if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.